But the story for women like Sheba and Amanda hopefully does not end there. Joining me now is our Elisa Hines. That's right, Rob. For recently released inmates, finding employment can be a challenge, but there is hope. Skill Center staff work closely with Workforce Oklahoma, local agencies, and faith and community-based organizations to secure employment for graduates upon release to the local community. It's more than a job for Kelly Bice. Changed my life. It's a second chance. I think if you're not willing to do that, then um, I'm not sure why you're in business. Cheryl Hill is owner of Hill Manufacturing and a great proponent of giving such a chance to those who need it most, like Kelly Bice. Miss Cheryl, she's a really nice lady. I, I couldn't believe, you know, uh, thank the Lord there's people like that in the world, you know, to go out of their way to help a fella, you know. Uh. Kelly is a graduate of a skill center welding program located inside the Jimmy Hamilton Correctional Center. And I knew, you know, I needed to get into something like that, some kind of trade while I was in there. But having a trade doesn't guarantee a job, and that's something Kelly really needed. I couldn't find a place to live up here, so I checked, put in application at ever, you know, other places, and no callbacks, so, you know, uh, they definitely helped, you know, the instructor, uh, the, the career tech people, they go out of their way to help you, and, uh, you know, I, without them, I wouldn't be here today, without a doubt. According to Career Tech's Student Employment Coordinator, Christy Williams, finding employment for Skill Center's graduates isn't always easy. Realistically speaking, we are asking the employer to take a chance on someone who has um, indications in their background that they, they had a problem at one time following the rules. And uh, so we want to make it as easy as possible for them to say yes our clients because we feel like we have a good product. We feel like we generate a very good student, a good prospective employee for them. Employees like Kelly that Hill Manufacturing depend upon. He's just been a model employee. He came with skills. He came with a good attitude. He came with a desire to want to change his life, um, make it here, and we just love him. A sentiment that's echoed by Stephanie Pulley, HR manager at m, &M Manufacturing, about hiring Skill Center graduates. They're here all the time because they know not all companies are going to give them a chance to prove themselves. And the few companies that have given Skill Center graduates the opportunity to become employed, um, they're here every day, they're on time, they're dependable, they're motivated, they're driven. Um, they're going to be our key employees that are going to thrive and excel. And in a year or two, the one employee we have now, I actually see that person being a leader, not just data entry and employee. I see that person being a leader of others. Good afternoon, m, &M Manufacturing. Meet Jennifer Tiger. Hello. Nervous about her release, she attributes the Skill Center program with where she is today. Yeah, because the felony thing, you know, when you have certain charges, um, drug related or you know with money or anything you think you're, you're going to get out and I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go work at a Sonic or you know where you hear a lot of the ladies go to Sonic or something but um, it really sets you up for a lot that you're not you want you know your dreams You'll and stuff but you don't think that that's accessible to you so okay. yeah I was, I was really nervous actually so I was quite pleased when I got out and I, I followed them step by step on what they wanted me to do who to contact and when you do that it's it's a good thing, good opportunity. And being able to give someone that much needed second chance makes Stephanie feel humbled, humbled. But thankful that we can help. And Jennifer? I feel good. I feel really good. Um, going through Career Tech, I've got a lot of hope and a, a lot of confidence, actually. I don't think I could have walked in here and got this job on my own without the training and you know having something to actually give an employer and say hey you know here I went to school for this and I actually know what I'm doing you know that was a good feeling. My daughter was amazed when I told her I graduated I was graduating she went around to her school and told everybody mommy's in college mommy's going to school and she was very pleased with what I was doing and 
first It was good because I wanted her to have something that she was proud of me on as well, so that was a major thing for us. So Jennifer and Kelly's future looks bright, and hopefully, what with the economy, funds will be available for future Skills Center students to be just as successful. Our biggest asset is our people. Our biggest um, ability to create revenue in Oklahoma is employees to make parts in Oklahoma so that the parts don't get sent out to other states. And if we don't have the employees to make the parts, companies like ours are going to have to ship parts out to other states to be made. Having the program there to teach the people what they need to know allows the people to get jobs. It will allow people to make a living, not be on welfare. It'll allow the people to spend their money in Oklahoma um, for cars and housing and groceries. And it'll improve the economy tenfold of what little dab of money they would fund a program. It'll just come back ten times over if they'll just keep the program going and allow the program to grow where it needs to grow. It is very important for us to have something like that to grasp onto while we're incarcerated. You are in there with no hopes. You, a lot of women lost everything. You, like I said earlier about you just you haven't been to school in so long you really don't even think you have it in you and to give somebody hope and you know a path to actually follow when you get out it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. But it all depends on the willingness of employers like Stephanie and Cheryl to give that second chance. They've paid their dues and they have a, I'm not going to say all of them, I'm going to tell you the ones that have the desire to stay out, the ones that have the desire to make it, the ones that learn that there is another life out here. And, but you have to be ready to accept them, you have to be ready to give them those jobs because for those who were making it on the street before, if they can't make it in a productive job, they will go back to the street and they'll end back up. So you have to make that transition easy for them. If you make it difficult the minute they walk out that door, I don't know what the percentages are, but I think you're going to lose more than you're going to gain. Second chances at a better life that benefits all of Oklahoma. In cooperation with the Department of Commerce, Skill Centers help students earn a career readiness certificate that many employers now require. So far, approximately 2,000 students have earned such certificates, which puts them ahead of the game when it comes to applying for a job. And that is quite an accomplishment when you consider that almost 80% of these inmates have neither a high school diploma or a GED. That's right, Rob. And when the inmates were educationally tested, it was discovered that one in three were functioning below a sixth grade level in reading, math, and language. So not only training them for skills, but giving them some remedial training as well. Thank you so much, Elisa.